Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the Mouse Bungie and the Mouse Bungie Pro. I will be looking at two of their products today. I'll be looking at the plain Mouse Bungie as well as the Mouse Bungie Pro. Now just to go into more detail on the regular Mouse Bungie, it comes in this unique packaging as well as the manual and as well of course as the product itself. Have a closer look here at this product. There is a steel metal ball here in the center and this is basically designed for weight uh, keeping this very secure and heavy on your desk so of course when you're moving your mouse this product will not be uh, slipping all over the desk as well as it has these very sticky feet which certainly are very good at keeping this device on your desk as well and let me show you now how this is connected right here at the top you'll notice that the cord actually goes through the top and leads down here and goes in here and leads out here and you fit the cord here at the top by pressing these two together you would slip in the mouse cord and then it's done. Let me uh, show you how that's actually done right now. So once the cable is installed at the top here you see it fits in quite snugly and then you would press here right here you can see it kind of grips there as well as right here and that's it it's very very simple to get this set up and of course once that's done you don't have to worry about your cord getting in the way a lot of times this normally hangs down behind your desk it kind of drags the mouse off your desk it's very annoying you are always pulling it back up again so certainly a very handy product to have and if I go now to the pro version of this the only real difference here is the attached mouse pad that comes with this pro version uh, everything else here is exactly the same and something else I should note as well this and the other one does come in different color options going back to the pro version here you have the glass actually right here and you can actually put your own picture down below here the surface if I show you I can remove the glass right here and below that is a piece of paper and of course you could just leave it with nothing there or you could reverse this if you wanted to have it plain white or you could just if you have a color printer you could print off your own logo or your own cool design and place it there and once that's finished of course put the glass back in and once the glass is back in you'll have uh, a very unique mouse pad in combination with the very convenient and handy uh, cord grabber here uh, for your mouse. Let me now actually show you and put a mouse on top of this. Now that the mouse is installed on this Bungie Pro you can certainly see that it does work well together the mouse pad in combination with the regular Bungie and this actually even does work with optic mice I've tried Microsoft optic as well as Logitech optic mice and they do work even on this glass surface overall two very interesting products here both of these products are very inexpensive and both of these products work very well I would recommend the plain version for gamers and for non gamers I would recommend going with the pro version why? Well, in games, especially first-person shooter games, the plain version would give you the ability of having your desk as a surface to move your mouse around or maybe a bigger, flatter mouse pad that you could use as an option. 
and if you slip, if you're using the pro version, this is what I found, the mouse tends to slip off the side and that's not a good thing to happen when you're playing certainly multiplayer games. So again, the plain version for gamers, that's my recommendation, and the pro version for non-gamers. In saying all that, I give this product, both of these products, a 9 out of 10. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, check out the forums. Until the next time, take care.